the institutions and policies which has created poverty is not good enough to solve poverty. So if you are going to solve poverty, you have to be, come out of the mold of that existing old-fashioned institutions and policies and thinking. It is a very simple fact. For example, uh, human creativity is very unlimited. It's a total creativity is increasing and the technology is increasing. But it's all controlled by the businesses. So businesses are for making money. So that's a conceptual thing in the economic framework that we have, that the businesses have to be profit-maximizing institutions. But human beings are not money-making robots, ultimately. That's where all the problems come. So why can't we create other kind of business at low sector? We're not saying that those businesses have to be closed down. Businesses to solve problems in a business way but not for making money out of it. And I've been calling it as a social business. So what does that mean, though, when you say that we, we need to not look at necessarily the solution coming from business environment? I think it's easy to say that, but in reality, how do you do that? Is it a question of, of, of supporting NGO work? Is it a no, question of additional funding? Is it a question of creating spaces where people can come together and come up with their own ideas? It's, what is it? it's a conceptual world. Mm -hmm. If you accept that you can run businesses for solving problems without having in, in any intention of making money, new classes of business will come in. And that's what we have been creating, and many people are joining in, many multinationals companies are joining in. So it's not something frightening. People want to do that, but the conceptual framework doesn't allow that. So if we create a social business fund in each country, then young people and business people and communities will come up with ideas how to solve the problem of poverty, how to solve the problem of in uh, uh, healthcare, how to solve the problem of the environment. It's all the creativity is not located in one institution, say Globe, uh, World Bank or United Nations. People have the creativity. Somehow we've got to start with the government <coughs> idea. Government works with the bureaucracy. Bureaucracy is not known to be the most creative institution in the world. <laughs> so it's a people sector which has all the creative power. So we have to bring that creative power in the world, in the business world. For example, uh, governments are more on a handouts and a charity in a way that they can spend their money. Uh, that's why the corruption issue becomes such an important thing. Business people are always busy making money, so they don't want to solve any problem. So what happens to the rest of the world, to the people? So we can create other kinds of businesses that everybody can join in, anybody can join in. And today's young people, we have not talked about the young people, is a completely different force. The 15-year-old today is much powerful, much equipped, much informed than the 30-year-old of the previous generation. But we're not including them in. They are the one who, if we allow them to come up with their creative capacity, all these questions can be answered in a very different way. That's the most important thing to do. I think that's a very interesting thought. And, and over the knuckles a little bit for doing this, but, but I think I can handle. I would suggest um, the conversation with the imminent persons ensures that we include the youth um, and that we include the people who are actually working on the ground. Because no doubt one of the challenges when one is perpetually speaking to the same types of people, you don't get the refreshing ideas. Thank you very much, Professor well, Just one more. Oh, you got more. Okay. Little okay. social businesses to solve problem. We also can undertake large social issues uh, as a social business. Like we're talking about reforesting all of Haiti. Haiti has lost all its forest coverage and only 2% left. I think it's a beautiful social business. If you're not making money but you're creating income, you're creating uh, jobs for people, it's a wonderful thing. We can reforest the whole of Haiti in a business way, not in a money-making business way, but in a social business way, so that people benefit. So that's a kind of challenge. We can sit down, we can talk, how to make it happen. It's possible. Thank you.